successfully fight uh, trafficking. Thank you. Thank you very much. You see, hello. I think we focus too much on how to manage and distribute the people who are coming. While the question we should be asking is how many people we can afford to take in socially or economically. What we should understand clearly is that there is now and in the future an endless number of people who want to come to Europe. Relocation has not worked and will not work. And even if it did work, it would only encourage more people to come. Many member states have re-established border controls and that has significantly reduced secondary movement and asylum shopping. In the long run, it will likely also reduce the number of people crossing the Mediterranean because those people are not interested in staying in Greece or Italy. They all want to go to Germany, Sweden and some other countries. As to the external borders, I think we should look closely what Australia has been doing successfully for the past few years. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Halau. You have a blue card from uh, Mrs. Innitfeldt. Is that okay? Yes, please, Sophie. Thank you. I, I hear you say uh, we should take as many people as, uh, as we are able to take in, referring to a kind of absorption uh, um, uh, rate. So what are you going to say to the people who are fleeing a war situation, who come to Europe and he, who, according to your definitions, uh, we cannot absorb anymore? What are you going to say to them? But my more important question is, don't you think it is an absolute disgrace to have that kind of language in the richest, most prosperous, freest and safest continent in the world to say that we actually do not have the capacity to take those Thank people you. in? Well, given the miserable integration rate that we have seen, even with much smaller numbers of, of humanitarian immigrants in Europe, I would say that we cannot afford even these kind of numbers, because most do not have the capacity to take those Thank people you. in. Well, given the miserable integration rate that we have seen, even with much smaller numbers of of humanitarian immigrants in Europe, I would say that we cannot afford even these kind of numbers because most humanitarian immigrants uh, concentrate in those member states which have the most generous uh, social, welfare, social security system. That's a fact. And we shouldn't be naive about the people who are now crossing the Mediterranean. The majority of them are economic migrants. They are not refugees from Syria. Vielen Dank. Jetzt spricht für Thank you. One minute. Natalie Griesbeck. Thank you, President. 